All right, we're gonna make a little shooter game in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna dive right in. We're gonna start by making a circle, and you'll see that gravity is on, so we'll pull up the world properties and turn that off. You can see our object starts to fly away now, so let's rewind and we'll put it back in the initial state. Now we're gonna give it an image, so we're just gonna go and select a spaceship. So now let's uh, give our spaceship a behavior. So clicking on it, we'll select it. Clicking again, we'll bring up the menu. We'll give it a name, and we'll call it spaceship. And then we'll go to behaviors, and we're going to add a behavior for when the user presses a key. And our first one is going to be when it turns left. So click in the text box, click on the left arrow, again give the behavior a name. And this is going to work by adding a value to the current orientation for the object. So we'll drag over the add, and orientation and click OK and we can go test that out now. So we'll see two things right away. First of all, uh, this is turning very slowly. Second of all, it's only turning on key press. So we're going to go edit our behavior and we're going to change uh, the value to a little higher and we're going to change it to key held so that it's always running. We'll go test it and that looks a lot better. So now let's go create the turn right behavior. And just as before, we'll give it a name, enter the key, and we're just going to change the orientation in the opposite direction for this. And there we go. So now let's make it move forward. We'll create a new behavior, and this time we'll use the up arrow. You're going to see uh, two little things here. One is a shortcut, one is a, a little trick. Uh, first of all, the shortcut is I'm going to control drag a reference, which lets me copy it. Second of all, setting the speed to zero and then setting it will make the object move in its current orientation. Otherwise, it'll just change the speed along its uh, current path. Uh, so again, we're using key press. So this isn't quite working right. We also have a few other things we want to change. Um, we're going to edit the friction because we don't want it to spin around when it bounces against the walls. We'll do that for the world here in a second as well. And we're going to slow it down a little bit. So now we can test it out, and see this moves pretty smoothly. So we've got a spaceship now that uh, moves around more or less like we'd like it to, and you can play around with those parameters. You can tweak it as you'd like. Uh, so now let's let's make our spaceship shoot something. So again, we're going to create a new behavior. Uh, this time we're going to make object shoot when the space bar is pressed. And to do this, we need to create a new object that we want to shoot. So we're going to drag out a little bullet, and we'll create a class from that object. We'll call it bullet. And notice I checked off ignore collisions here. Um, we don't want this to physically collide with anything uh, as in the physics engine. We just want it to respond to contact events. And so clicking on this orange reference will let me access the properties of the bullet. And we're going to set its orientation, position, and speed. And we want the orientation and position set to the current objects. We'll go and copy those over. Those are in the this tab. And we'll give it a speed here. And now we can go test this out. And there we go, we've got an object that shoots something. Uh, unfortunately, they're purple circles, so let's go see if we can find a suitable image. And it does look like there are a whole lot for bullets in the community. I probably haven't saved most of those out yet. Uh, well, let's just use the wooden ball. And we'll test that out. Uh, it's still a little purple. I could go in and, and change the filled color so that it, it isn't applying that purple tint. Uh, but we're just going to move on. 
So I'm going to make uh, a new object for an enemy. Give it a name. And we're going to go find an image. And we'll just see what he looks like. And he's purple too, so uh, that looks pretty awful, so let's fix it. All right, there he is, and we're gonna get rid of him now because we're gonna make a behavior that is going to spawn enemies. Uh, we're just gonna do it every two seconds. So we'll put this behavior on the world, and we'll create a new timed behavior for two seconds. And every two seconds, we're gonna create a new enemy, and we're just gonna set his position to a random position. For So if we rewind, we should see enemies popping up every so often here, and there's a few. Uh, we still can't shoot at them, so we're going to make new behavior on our enemy that's going to make them disappear. And if you wanted, this is where you could handle things like points for enemies, and maybe you'd have a property on the world that you'd want to set or want to add to every time you shoot an enemy. But for now, we're just going to make a contact event when the enemy contacts a bullet and we're just going to destroy the enemy for now. And as with everything else, this should update right away. So there we go, we can shoot our enemies now. Obviously our game isn't too interesting, so Let's, uh, let's try to give our enemies some movement. Um, I'm going to look and see if I've saved anything out to the community here. Um, a lot of times you'll be able to find the behaviors you're looking for, or the actions you're looking for out in the community, so it's a good place to look. Uh, let's see what we have here. I don't know if there's anything out there. So we're just going to create it ourselves. So an object's created. Uh, all we're going to do is give the object an impulse. We could do this with uh, setting the orientation to a random direct or a random value between zero and three sixty, and then setting the speed, a lot like we do for the bullet. Uh, the only problem with that is then your enemy would show up upside down every once in a while. As it is, they're going to bounce around and turn because we haven't changed their friction yet. But I'll leave that up to you guys to play around with. So we're going to actually use vector multiplication for this. Uh, adding an impulse always takes a vector direction. So we're going to use a random direction and we'll multiply it by 50 and see what that does. And we play. And they're kind of moving, not a whole lot, so that probably wasn't enough. So let's go edit this guy, and we're just going to bump up the value that we used for add impulse, and we'll see what that is. And you can see they fly around pretty good. And we should still be able to shoot them, there they go. So there you go, we've got, uh, for the most part, a working shooter game in about 10 minutes. Um, Thanks for watching and hope you guys will go try it out.